Hello and welcome to its tomorrow news. Typhoon Wong Fong, the second weather disturbance that hit Japan in just a week's time, has injured at least 31 people on Okinawa Island. Pounding winds and rain forced people to leave their homes and seek high grounds as Wong Fong knocked down the power of electricity on the island. Airline companies have likewise cancelled some 384 flights in the Okinawa prefecture and the islands of Kyushu. Wong Fong, which has weakened after crossing Okinawa, forced 2 lakh people to evacuate on the island. Okinawa is Japan's southernmost prefecture. Wong Fong, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency, currently has winds of up to 120 km per hour with gusts of 175 km per hour. It knocked down power supplies to 46,600 homes in Okinawa. It is now on its way to Kyushu, where 1,50,000 people have been advised to evacuate. Authorities issued landslide warning to aid Kyushu residents. Although Wong Fong has already weakened, where the forecaster said that it still carries an enormous amount of moisture that a shower will dump in the area, effectively triggering flash floods. Secret power company said blackouts have ensued on the island, affecting 54,700 homes. The AP reported bullet train operators had suspended operations on Monday and that it could be continued on Tuesday, depending on the weather conditions. During the middle of last week, Wong Fong reached super typhoon status as it moved through an area of low winds, shade and very warm ocean temperatures. It reached category 5 hurricane strength with wind speed greater than 257 km per hour. It will continue to lose strength as it moves up in the archipelago. Last Tuesday, the typhoon is forecast to hit Tokyo. Residents at high-risk areas are strongly advised to prepare against more floods and mudslides, especially since they have yet to shake off the effect that Typhoon Fan Phone brought to the region just barely a week ago. Tokyo alone experienced 272 mm of rain. That's all for now. For more updates, stay tuned with us for tomorrow news, Abraham Johnson.